Immaculate Ilabagiza shares her harrowing experience during the Rwandan genocide in 1994. She recalls the day the genocide started, with the president of the country being killed, sparking violence and chaos between the two main tribes, Hutu and Tutsi. Immaculate's family, who belonged to the Tutsi tribe, faced the threat of being targeted and killed by their neighbors and even members of their own family. Immaculate highlights the role of the media in promoting hatred and inciting violence between the two tribes. The radio broadcasts spread messages of division and dehumanization, leading to a climate of fear and animosity. Despite warnings from the Blessed Virgin Mary in Kibaho, the country descended into a state of chaos and bloodshed. Immaculate narrates how her family and thousands of others sought refuge in their home, only to face the imminent threat of being hunted down and killed. She describes the intense emotions of fear, anger, and impatience that consumed her during those dark days. Her faith and belief in God were tested as she grappled with the possibility of facing death at any moment. In a moment of desperation, Immaculate pleads with God for a sign of his presence and protection. She makes a heartfelt promise to seek and follow God's ways if he spares her life. Miraculously, the killers searching the house do not discover Immaculate and the others hiding in the bathroom, reaffirming her belief in God's intervention and protection. Immaculate reflects on the profound impact of her experience on her faith and understanding of forgiveness. She shares how she grappled with feelings of anger, fear, and impatience, but ultimately found solace in prayer and seeking God's guidance. Her encounter with death and the divine presence of God in her darkest hour transformed her perspective on life and faith. Immaculate emphasizes the importance of love, forgiveness, and unity in overcoming hatred and violence. She recounts her father's teachings on not judging others based on their tribe or actions, but instead embracing love and compassion for all. Despite the immense pain and anger she felt towards those who had caused so much suffering, she came to understand that forgiveness was not about excusing their actions, but about freeing herself from the burden of hatred. Through a deep spiritual experience, she found the strength to forgive and let go of her anger, ultimately experiencing a sense of liberation and peace. Immaculate's transformation through forgiveness led her to a deeper understanding of love and compassion. She recognized the power of choosing love over hate, of standing up for what is right, and of finding strength in the face of adversity. By aligning herself with the side of love, she was able to move forward with a renewed sense of purpose and hope. Throughout her ordeal, Immaculate learned to trust in God's plan for her life. She surrendered her fears and doubts, allowing God to guide her and provide for her needs. By focusing on the present moment and seeking God's guidance, she found a sense of peace and assurance that carried her through even the darkest times. Immaculate's journey of forgiveness and faith ultimately led her to a place of hope and healing. She was able to let go of the past, embrace the future with optimism, and live each day with gratitude and purpose. By sharing her story and spreading a message of love and forgiveness, she continues to inspire others to find strength in the face of adversity and to seek peace in the midst of chaos.